Hey guys, my name is Natalie Shevchik and today I'm going to be showing you my go-to going out outfits. I guess these aren't really outfits because I'm just showing you my shirts. All these clothes are pretty affordable. Um, I think they're staple going out pieces. So I'm going to have these in my closet for a long, long time. I'd say everything here is like medium price range. It's not like expensive, but it's not like Forever 21. I'm gonna get started really quickly, but before I get started, I wanna let you guys know that I'm selling a bunch of things on Poshmark and Depop, so I'll have that link down below. If you get along with me, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. And if you have any video recommendations, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I respond to every single comment, unless it's a little inappropriate, so. I'll respond to your comment. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I'm gonna first get started with this super sexy bodysuit from White Fox. This bodysuit is definitely the most expensive item out of any of these things. Don't expect it to be this expensive. This bodysuit was $50. I've worn it a couple times and I freaking love it. I wore it to fashion week one time. Side note, going to fashion week was very, very interesting. I had to run to my Uber pool, and as I was running to my Uber pool, all of a sudden, my shoes fly off in the middle of New York City. My heels fly off, and I fall on the ground in the middle of the street, and I fall right next to this whole group of photographers that were t just taking pictures of street style. They're like, are you okay? Do you want us to take photos of you? I thought to myself, because my Uber pool was waiting like five feet away, I thought, my Uber pool, I will never experience something like this in my whole entire life ever again. So then I had like 20 photographers taking pictures of me on the side of the street and I felt famous for the first time. Not for the first time, but I felt famous. First of all, I couldn't believe that happened. And then I went to, into my Uber pool and these random people for sure thought I was famous because they just saw me getting photographed by 20 photographers. Yeah, so that was a really crazy experience. I can't wear a bra with it. In a lot of these things, my boobs definitely look super small because normally bras like help my boobs look bigger. I just kind of accepted that my boobs aren't that big. And once you accept that, I mean, you feel super comfortable wearing whatever you want. First of all, this kind of mimics a corset kind of with these two lines here and then the little boob cutout. It kind of looks like lingerie, which I love because it has the mesh with the little dots. And then this fabric underneath is a little shiny. So it's like super, super sexy. I don't really know if you can wear this inside out, but I kind of thought about wearing it inside out, but I don't know if that would make me look too nude. So I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any tags or anything in here. Yeah, I might try to wear this inside out. And it's not too inappropriate. None of these things are too inappropriate. They're like the little amount of like scandalous. This next piece is just a little silk top with lace on the top. I'm sure you've seen things like this. But yeah, my friend gave this to me because she didn't want it anymore. This is from Brandy Melville, so it can't be like too expensive. They have ones at Victoria's Secret that are a little more expensive. They have ones at Aritzia. You can find a lot of tops that look like this from a lot of different places, depending on how much money you want to spend. Another shirt that's super similar to the last one is this top. These tops are definitely a little more flowy. So if you're not like super comfortable with a tight shirt, then uh, these babies are for you. Yeah, so this is just a little silk top and it kind of has a scallop here. And then the back looks like it has a little bit of an open back. Back, super sexy but the back isn't too too open this is from Zara and it was $30 it's a good staple piece I don't know if I'm really feeling it right now but because I have like other pieces that make me look feel hotter on a side note I'm super particular about the going out clothes that I wear because I want to look like sexy I recently gained like 10 pounds because I stopped being vegan I didn't really feel sexy because like my boobs got smaller, my butt got smaller at that time. So now I'm starting to feel like sexy again. Yeah, so I'm super conscious of the things that I wear. Not only was I like super skinny, I was also, I'm also like 5'1". That's why I try to find pieces that are flattering for me. I want to 
look like a woman and not like a child. So moving on to this piece from Tiger Mist. Basically it's all lace, but you just have fabric where your boobs are. Um, it's wired and it has a little zipper in back. I've also seen this shirt made in different ways from a lot of different places. But yeah, this is another really good staple piece. Tiger Mist has really good going out pieces. I think it was probably like $35 or something. This is another shirt from Tiger Mist. You guys have definitely seen shirts like this around. It's just a mesh long sleeve shirt. It's obviously see-through. So you wear a black bra under it, or you could just no bra it and show your nips. I don't have the balls for that. Also, it has some rouging in the front. You can find this version of this shirt in a lot of different places, so beautiful. So I think the shirt that I'm wearing is from, I'm trying not to show you my sweatpants. I love the cutouts and the boobs. I love the colors of it. I just think it looks super sexy, it looks like lingerie. That's my style, something that looks like lingerie. Something that's a neutral color and um, a super sexy material, like a mesh or a lace, and has really sexy details. It's almost crossing the line, but not quite crossing the line. I feel like this kind of, these kinds of clothes and this kind of vibe is gonna stick around for like forever. I feel like it's kind of timeless. I like love these clothes and this vibe. I think it's super hot. I wore it for the first time on the little Valentine's Day getaway that I had. It wasn't what I expected. If you guys saw last week's video, I told you guys that I was going away on a little trip with these rich engineers that were paying for the whole trip and we were gonna go snowmobiling, we were gonna go hot tubbing, and that's exactly what we did. However, when I walked in the door, I didn't realize that these guys were gonna be in their 40s and 50s. And that is exactly what I walked into, which is great. I just thought they were gonna be a little younger. But we had a great time. We drank a lot, we went out to bars, and we did go jet skiing. I was on the back of this 40 year old's jet ski, and we were jet skiing and like bonding on the jet ski. We weren't talking, but like I felt the bond. Yeah, it was really crazy up there because everyone in that town has jet skis. So sometimes they don't even drive cars, they just ride their jet skis to work in school. You go to any parking lot and there's like 20 plus jet skis in the parking lot. We did not do the fake proposal in the bar like I told you guys. The house was insane. Yeah, we went in the hot tub and we took pictures outside. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Felt like I had to update you guys on that little trip. Moving on to Urban Outfitters. Moving on to this piece from Urban Outfitters that has a high neck and it has an open back. This one isn't really cropped, but the open back is really scandalous and super cool snakeskin print. This is from Urban Outfitters and it I think it was like $35. I didn't think it was gonna be as hot as it actually was, but I wore it in Florida and I was really feeling myself. Moving on to the last piece, I actually got it from my aunt, probably like 30 years old, but it's really funny because my aunt is super quiet. So the fact that she gave me this little piece that's actually lingerie, I don't think it's meant to be worn out, um, it's really funny. So it's from a place called Partners Intimates, and I actually wore this in a video. Not gonna lie, this is like probably one of my favorite pieces because it just looks super sexy. It's like a little corset. Uh, I have no idea how much it was because my aunt gave it to me, but I wore it the first day that I was in Florida and I wanted to wear it like every single day after that because it just made me feel really good. It was definitely a little big on my boobs. I feel like I can wear it when I'm on my period because my boobs get a little bigger. So that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My favorite stores for going out tops are White Fox Boutique and Tiger Mist. I mean, I really, wouldn't recommend going to Boohoo or Zoffel or places like that because um, the quality isn't that good and it's not gonna make you look that great. And when the quality sucks, they're not that flattering and it's not gonna last you a long time. It's way better to spend a little more money on things that are gonna have longevity in your closet and that are gonna make you look your best. Flatter your body. 
because super cheap stuff, it's not gonna fit you right. Uh, so yeah, my point is if you spend an extra $15, you get way better quality way better quality. I'm gonna remind you guys again that I'm selling a bunch of things on Poshmark and Depop. I'll have it linked down below. Check it out. Give my Instagram a little follow. Give my TikTok a little follow. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys.